Bye guys. I will share to you my screen. I will teach you how to fill out a form for your DS-160 when you're applying for US tourist visa or also K-1 visa. You need DS-160. So this is the link, right? That's it. Siak at state gov. Okay, it's the link. There you go. This is our DS-160. Then you select your, if you're from the Philippines, you just type PH and enter. There the code that you can see. What is that? 8 A M 4 M W. Alright, start an application. You don't need to download the photo right away. Let's start an application. See? This is your, you do a screenshot guys. This one. Because when you log in again, next time, they will ask for your application ID. So you keep this ID, you can set it in your messenger, personal messenger, so that you have a copy. Click agree. Right. Next. Give a name of your mother's mother. Let's have a security questions. Let's say, in what city did you meet your spouse, first evening and other? Let's answer Ilo. Ma city. All right, so these are the question, personal questions. See, very easy, surname, let's say, um, mm, yup, very fast, even name, Rose, okay. Full name in alphabetical, in alphabet, so, Rose, yup, okay. Next, have you used other names in region? No, you can just that. next. Do you have an telecode represent your name? No, telecode. No, of course. Female. Marital status. You can say same married. Date, place, and date of birth. We have seven. Date first. So let's say 31. July. 1993. Mm. City. Let's say. Cordon. State. Dimas. That's my province. Region six. Oh, Philippines. PH. Then enter. Mm. And then next. Okay. So I have region nationality. Filipino. PH Philippines. Do you hold any other nationality other than that? No. Are you a permanent resident in the country? Yes. And then identification national identification number. If you have your national ID, you can type, does not apply. If you have social security number, you type, but I don't have social security number. I don't have US tax payer ID number. And then next travel, very fast. Very easy guys, right? Oh, please correct the question. Other from resident country is not answered. So Philippines, mm. next. Provide the following information. Other permanent resident country, region. Ah, are you a permanent resident? No. The answer is no. No, guys. No. Okay, next. Purpose of trip to the USA. Oh, let's say you are traveling for tourist visa, right? If you're traveling for fiancé, you can say, you can choose fiancé, see? If you're traveling for a tourist, you can choose Foreign temporary business pleasure visitor B B one B two that's our that's for a tourist visa okay so I choose tourist visa so you can use this for K one you can also use this so you can just replace again you have to choose fiance but if you are tourist you can you choose the temporary business pleasure visitor letter B okay next specify business tourism temporary visitor yes b1 b2 go for that have you made specific travel plans yes the answer yes because they will ask you during the interview guys date arrival we'll just say 13 of may 2022 arrival flight you just say if known you could just if you don't have any idea arrival city where in what city in the United States? You can say Madison because that's where I live. that's where my city is. Date of departure. When are you going to leave? So you can say thirteen is your arrival. So your departure can be eleven. Eleven of May, twenty twenty two. 
You have to make fast, guys, because there is a time limit for this. Departure flight, if no, no need to say that. And then departure city, let us see. City, where are you going to live? Manila, if you're from the Philippines. Okay, provide the location you plan to visit in the U.S. So you provide the address, where do you want to visit? You have to make sure you have that, guys, because consul will ask you, maybe, they need you exact travel plans. So that they will make sure that you have someone or you have a place where you are going to stay. Location, you can just say Madison, West, West, Wisconsin. Okay. Paying for your trip. This one is very important. Who will pay for your trip? If you have a boyfriend or fiancé in the United States, you're going to say your um, other person. If if you're traveling for business or for tourism, you can out for as a tourist visa, you can do self. But for some old people, for some mother or parents who wants to visit their fa their children here in the United States, their children usually pay for that. So you can choose other person. Present employer, if you have um if your employer is the one sending you for uh, for seminar or something, employer in the US or other organization or company if it's like a church organization or something like that so let's just quick self next i have a uh, tips as well guys once you're done with your ds 160 you print all the information and then you review you don't need to bring whole ds 160 during your interview they need only the confirmation page but you, you print it and you review it so that during the interview you remember the your answers in your ds 160 that's it because the consul will ask you information about you, about your trip, based on your DS-160. So guys, we're going to go back now. So they are asking for your ID, application ID, AA00AI, AA00AI, plus K973, K973 application first letter of your surname next your birth and what city Milo trip application there you go so we are here now then let's go to travel Lisa purpose of a trip so we're going for B temporary business pleasure visitor B okay next if you're fiance you can choose fiance too fiance is here fiance Select tourism, business and tourism. Then, have you made specific travel plans? You can just say yes. Date of uh, arrival in the Philippines, let's say 15 of May 2022. Arrival flight. If known, you don't need a travel city. You can just say Madison. Date of departure, you can say 13 May. 2022 departure flight no need city departure manila if you're from the philippines provide location of plan to visit so you can say where do you want to visit in the united states for me i will just say madison wisconsin okay street address you can say 6168 street your address where do you want to say madison 169 guys. Wisconsin. Okay. Zip code 53799. Now let's just say that that. Self. Who's paying for your travel? You can do self. If you're other person, someone will sponsor, like family, your children here, present employer, employer in the US, or other company or organization for church, something like that. So I'll just say self because you are rich. Travel companion. Oh, what's wrong? Please correct all the years. Date of departure cannot be earlier than date of arrival. Okay, so departure is arrival is 15. That's really bad. Departure from US. Ah, when do you leave? Okay, so you arrive at the US 15. So let's say you will stay there for 10 days. So you will leave on May 25. Okay, mm. next. Persons traveling with you. No, alone. Okay, next. Have you ever been in the U.S.? Let's say no. Have you ever been issued a U.S. visa? No. 
have you ever been refused a US visa? If you've been refused, you say yes. If no, no. Be honest, guys, because they have all the data that you have. Because, you know, US is US. Has anyone ever filled an immigrant petition for you? If you have existing immigrant petition, K-1, or if you're applying for tourists and you have existing K-1 uh, petition, you say yes, okay? Be honest all the time. So let's just say no here. Because no, 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 Home address, so let's say. Signs, all of these, or done, Gimnas. Postal, 5045. This is your address in the Philippines. Region, Philippines. PH, type PH only. Mailing address is same. Yes. Phone number, you just put your phone. 0955-986-7210. It's your phone. Does not apply. Does not apply. Have you used any other phone numbers in the last five years? If you say yes, they will ask you for the phone number. If you say no, email address. You can uh, yap rose at small letter guys for email. So, yap rose at gmail .com. Have you used other emails address in the last five years? Yes or no? Just say no. Okay. Social media, if you have Facebook, okay. Social media identifier, you put your name, Yap Rose. What is your name or Facebook? Do you wish to provide other information? If you have other uh, website, you have YouTube, you do vlogging, it, yes. Or your Instagram, like that. Just say no. Okay, passport. Select travel document type. So you are regular because you're traveling tourist visa. Passport number P1345679B. Mm. Passport book number does not apply. Country, Philippines. Where's the passport? You say Iloilo. Mm. Province of Luino. Okay. Show one state. Let's just say 2 of April 2019. It will expire on 1 of April 2029. Because it's 10 years, right? Have you ever lost your passport that had one stolen? Yes or no lang. So you just, just contact information, surname of the person you will visit in the in the US, let's say uh, Siemens Rose no. organization does do not know. Select your relationship if it's your relative, spouse, friend, business asset, employer, school official, author. I will just say friend. Mm. See address. See. U.S. address, so 6168-69, Ringan Street, Ransom, oh, this is in the city, now this one, type WI for Wisconsin, enter, zip code 53719, phone number 116. Zero eight two nine three nine 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 nine. <laughs> Email address uh, cmons at yahoo.com. Mm, next family. All right, so the question surnames, father's full name, your father's full name, you can say Yap Hector, Liba, date of birth uh, 11 April 19. What is it? 1967 father in the u.s no mother's full name mother's full name and date of birth yep. mercy to birth zero two december 1972 mother in the u.s no do you have any when you say immediate uh relatives brothers and sisters do you have any other relatives in the united states so that's your um, first cousin to third cousin. For immediate relatives, that's your fiancé, husband, son, daughter, brothers or sisters. Next, spouse. Spouse full name. You just say, you're married. Oh, you were married. So let's say our spouse name is Yap. Oh my God. All wrong. Yap, spouse name Yap. And name is... Harold, spouse date of birth, let's say 3 
January 1982. Country of religion, let's say Philippines too. City, New England, of course, I'm from New England. And Philippines. Spouse address, same as home address. Same as a home address. Work, education, training, primary. So you are, let's say you are into education. Next. Okay. See, expire again. So guys, expire again. We'll retrieve our application. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 1993. You remember all the security questions. So we're done with here. Home address. For education, let's say we are into education and then oh, page, then education. Ah. All right, so guys, we're here now. We're going to finish the this 160. So this is the part of your work education. You put 21,000 because they will not accept if there is any additional uh, character only numbers let's go to work education where you previously employed you say no have it done educational institution secondary level or above yes and then mm -hmm. okay i'll just put w yes you know let's say no. address So when you look for a country, you just type PH, see, Philippines, enter, course of study, masters, let's see, the attendant, let's say 17, January 2016, and you end on 18th of April, 2018. Right, let's go finish. Next, you belong to any corner tribe? No. Whatever language you speak, list of language you can say Tagalog. And another one in English. Right. Mm -hmm. For other, have you traveled to other countries in the last five years? So whatever is your answer, maybe for me I'll just say no. Have you belong to country work or any professional contractable organization? No. Mm. Do you have specialized constraints such as firearms? No. Do you ever serve in the military? No. Have you ever served in a member of the parliamentary? No. Mm. Security question, guys. This is like yes or no. So this communicable policies? No. Have a mental? No. Do you have ever drugs? No. Mm. Yeah. So one, two. All about bad things. Like no, violated, no, community not saying no, however we want to see in each one, no, trafficking, community not traffic, no, no, and no. Are you a spouse of a bad person? No. Mm. Part three, do you seek relations? Well, no. Answer all in this part, yes. For security part, part one to five, part five, no, no. All the answer, answers are no. No. Ordered, incited, no, permitted, no, 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 no. Uh -huh. Next, part four. Have you ever sought, obtained, assets or to fraud? No. Remove part of the country? No. Have you ever withheld custody in child? No. Voted into the violation regulation? No. Have you ever renounced in any citizenship? No. Next photo. Alright guys, so you will download the photo in this part. So you can look for a photo. But if you don't have a photo guys, that's okay too. You can just uh, choose a file. Any photo that's not super nice because they will change it on the when you are there in the embassy. Let's look for a photo. So guys, we'll use this photo of my ugly 
Look, the size is only 211 KB, so it's okay. See? Look, so then I'm correct. So, <laughs> what's the other? For TV, that's delete. <laughs> See again, let's try again. Let's look again for other photo. So guys, I tried I tried using this photo of mine. Image image may contain perfection due to compression artifacts. Submitted did not qualify did not meet the quality standards. You need to submit a new photo with your confirmation page and passport. So we can continue with our photo, guys. Let's just they give up. <laughs> they just give up okay so no just keep doing uploading photos and then if they don't want the photos you uploaded they will show that message this message all right let's review see this is my this 160 now you can print this one guys if you want to print okay, let's go. family let's say you just click this one for print. This one, huh? If you want to print. I suggest you print your DS-160 and review it while waiting for your interview date so that you will not forget all your answers. Right? So that's it. Now we'll do sign and submit. See? Yay! Enter a passport number. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Okay, did anyone assist you? No, you can answer no. Enter passport number. Code shown five eight zero six zero. Sign and submit. I will summarize to you the tips that I can give you when you fill out your DS one sixty form. Number one, take a photo of your uh, confirmation page, the front page of your DS one sixty. Number two, print your DS one sixty after you finish encoding your DS one sixty and review your answer so that your answer during your interview with the console and your answer in your DS-160 will match, okay? Next tip that I can give to you is if you're having a hard time uploading a correct photo, just upload any photo and then there is an error message that will appear that your photo did not meet the standard size, just click mm, continue without photo and you can finish your DS-160 and during your interview in the embassy, they will just uh, get you a photo or you, they will take a photo of you, alright? And then, guys, you have only 30 days to finish your DS-160. You can save your DS-160 and finish it, but after 30 days, if you cannot finish your DS-160, you have to go back again from the start, okay? So... You have only 30 days to finish your DS-160 and it will expire. Application, sign and submit, passport number, this one maybe, is THH-6Y-R. Alright, so we're done. And we're done. Ta-da! See? That is the important part, guys. So this is the confirmation page. Okay, you print this one. You click print this part, huh? Print. You can also uh, ask for email confirmation. You will receive an email like this as well. So print confirmation and bring this confirmation page during your interview. For K1 and non-immigrant visa, for... um. K1 and tourist visa B1, B2. This is the form that you can use. DS160. All right, guys. So that's it. That's how you apply for your uh, for your DS160. That's how you fill out the form. Thank you, guys, for watching this video. I hope it helps and you learn something from this video. If you have any questions or if you need help in fill out in your DS160, just comment down below. I will try to answer and help you. Thank you and have a good day. Bye. See you on my next vlog. Bye-bye.